Hey guys, it's a Wednesday and I'm going to take you through a day in my life. Normally I have, um, I like to think I try and have a bit of structure, but in honesty, my days and weeks can be a little bit all over the place. Um, and if you are new here and you don't follow me, my name is Victoria. I have been running a remote business and living overseas for the last 10 years. All right. Um, okay, so I have already had a coffee for the day. I've been taking the dog out for a walk. I did not film that today, so I will insert some footage maybe of um, that. Typically what I do to start my day is I write a to-do list. I used to do this every day uh, when going into an office and Or studying or whatever it was and I kind of fell off the habit but I've realized like when you have the choice of you turn the air conditioning on obviously not complaining about being able to have freedom of time and freedom of schedule but one of the downfalls that people can fall into is when you don't have when you can choose it's something like called choice paradox it's like when you have too much choice you can kind of end up getting stuck so keeping a to-do list even when you can do whatever you want with your day helps you kind of keep uh, on structure and I think keep uh, focused and actually what it allows you to do is enjoy your time off a lot more because you don't have a boss anymore that says to you start at nine end at six or if you're doing a little bit above and beyond uh, you know go and do that extra project you're kind of the one that has to say to yourself here is what I consider to be doing um, a good job here's what I consider to be doing above average and here's where I'm going to say to myself I can enjoy uh, this dedicated off time all right so it is So let me write up my to-do list for the day. What I'm actually doing is um, I'm flying to Australia next week. So I'm flying on Sunday in a couple of days um, and I'm setting up a little bit of a side hustle. So it's kind of like Airbnb, but for cars. So I just bought another car and setting up a car leasing side business with that. So I'm actually organizing a lot of that this week and I'll take you guys along next week when I do pick up the car and start setting that up. Um, I actually really, um, I do take a good five minutes to actually write down my to-do list and I also try and include any habits I'm trying to build. So um, even if it's something like day-to-day -day activities, let's say that, for example, uh, doing some yoga, doing a workout, you do that every day anyway, and it's not really a to-do item. I still add it as a to-do item so that it does give me that focus of it's a priority on my list of things to get done. Yeah. list done um, all right I will chat to you guys more in the day I'm gonna get on with it uh, have a couple of things to do have a couple of meetings today and I will update you guys on my day as I go along oh another thing to mention um, something else I do in my day is I sometimes prep if there is an extra food um, I prep which I just did and I didn't film but I prepped a veggie soup cook on the stove while I get like my morning activities done so then it encourages me to have a more nutrient that sounded annoying <laughs> a more nutrient filled munch uh, with vegetables because sometimes you know I get to let's say 12 or 1 uh, I've been at my computer and then I'm kind of like going to grab something whereas if I have something on the stove like uh, a soup or maybe vegetables that have been roasted for a salad or whatever it might be um, I mentally set myself up for like, got some something healthy there. 
to grab. All right, it is, I think my first ever kind of official day in my life. So I have the sense that I wanna chat a lot, but then I'm also like, I wanna get on with my day and show you guys what my actual day looks like. Um, but yeah, I've done my to-do list. I've kind of, I normally do this a little bit earlier in the morning, had a coffee, taken the dog out, uh, done a couple of morning duties, went to uh, do some admin stuff this morning with passports actually. Um, and um, yeah, I'm gonna get my most urgent things done. It's a technique called eat the frog, if you have not heard of it. Um, it's this idea of doing the most difficult things that need to get done on your to-do list. So I tend to, might change this up, I tend to write a slightly bigger to-do list with the goal that I might not get everything done um, and that getting 70% of the list done is already like 100%, like a good job. Um, but I might change that depending on how I feel that it works. And the eat the frog theory is that you choose kind of, let's say the one or two things that are the most difficult I actually also want to show you guys, um, I just recently got a monthly planner as well. And so um, I have the daily to-do list, but I wanted to have a monthly planner as well for a bigger kind of monthly overview of, you know, sometimes you might be working towards something and you have a bigger goal that you want to hit, let's say in two weeks or a month or 60 days. I wanted something that I could track that on and give me a bigger picture view of the month. Um, so I don't use this for like appointment planning or anything like that. I use still my normal calendar on Google. So I use my Google calendar for actual like appointments and things. My to-do list is for a structure for stuff that I wanna get done day to day. And then the monthly one is for a monthly overview of either bigger appointments uh, or reminders of things or goals that I'm trying to set. Just started that for this month, just filled in a couple of bits and pieces and when i get to the end of the month happy to show you guys how that worked if i'll keep it up i'm always always a fan of um habit stacking and building new habits but then seeing if they actually work for me some people might hate it i kind of love optimizing whilst not over optimizing my life um yes yeah, so i when I try out this monthly planner, see if I like it. And if it's kind of not working for me, I think over a month or two, I don't feel like it's really giving a lot of value or purpose. I won't keep it up, but I love to try something out, see how it affects my life and if it affects it in a positive way. Yeah. Here I am as well, making my daily apple cider vinegar with hot water. I sometimes have this uh, before coffee or just in the morning for good gut bacterial health and all of that stuff. For help listing your car, press three. For help with the car, the hold time is less than two minutes. So the account was able to be set up, but I'm not um, getting through the part with the SMS verification for listing a car. I just don't receive the SMS. Having a little bit of a lunch break. Today is pretty healthy. I'm also clearing out the fridge with going to Australia. So I have a bit of that veggie soup that I was talking about and a leftover boiled egg that was in the fridge. I tend to decompress during lunch and just watch some pop culture crap on YouTube and stuff uh, or have some no screen time. Thank you. 
there. Uh, that was a little bit of a day in my life. I'm never really sure if people enjoy these types of videos. Um, to me, it feels very routine. Um, I feel like even though I live in a different country and uh, work from home and run a business from home, I feel like my day-to-day -day life has become very much the norm for me. Um, getting up, you know, starting my morning, getting work done, getting some appointments in. Um, so as you guys saw, I went to the physio. I've just um, had a bunch of neck and hip issues and I've got surgery coming up in two weeks. And so uh, I just wanted to get a physio appointment in before that so that I have someone that I can go to regularly once the surgery is done. Um, and yeah, I just got a new pressure cooker because I am, uh, I'm a big fan of bone broth for gut health. Uh, so I have been for the last two months making bone broth with my big stock pot and standing and cooking that for like 18 hours. So I decided to try out this new pressure cooker, which is supposed to replicate, uh, it's like an instant pot. It's supposed to replicate bone broth, you know, a full day of cooking or 12 or 18 hours into like a two hour cook time. So I'm gonna try that out. And I think for the rest of the evening, I'm gonna get some piano practice in with my piano that is right behind there. Um, and relax, have some dinner, read a little bit, catch up on some news. And that is me for the evening. So I will see you guys in the next video.